Hi, this for video we are going to see the third option of visualization. We have seen charts, maps, and we are going to see tables within data wrapper and what are the options that we have with for representing. When we are dealing about tables, the first idea that we have is like an Excel view where we have rows, columns, and in each at the cross of each row and each column, what we have is a cell with a number. But we can think of tables as if within each cell we have another graph. Here, for instance, we can see several examples in which we have on the left, for instance, countries, and here we have a bar representing an amount, okay? We can have see also an evolution along different, different years, different time. Also here we have in the tables we have what have been represented the increments or the loses or about migration data of different places and also we can see what is a temporal series or a series of evolution uh, for different places. So the thing is that we are going to have places, uh, some type of information and we want to include some particular chart for that uh, region or that uh, type of information. In this case, for instance, Bundesland. So the thing is that here we have, as a, uh, if you remember from, from former videos, which are the multiple donuts, so we have here also multiple representations of uh, graphs for different values and we can compare them very easily, stack one over the other. In these representations, we can also include heat maps. In the heat maps, what we have is we are removing the information about the numbers, we are just showing what is temporal evolution and the values are replaced or the lines that we are usually used by the values in a scale of colors. Usually the lighter colors are used, are used for representing the lower values and the darker colors are, represent, are used for representing the higher values. Okay, another option is for instance we have a tendency, uh, a line of evolution here, we have a period and look that in this case we have even removed the x-axis and the y-axis. It's clear for all of us what is the time domain is from 61 to 16. So it's unnecessary that we are going to repeat that in this case for all the years, right? So what we are just showing it was is the first value the last value what has been the temporal evolution. If we have further details, of course, we have the data, we can see where is this peak that it goes down. For, for explaining very briefly, we have to choose what information we are going to show and what is discarded. And here, for instance, we want to represent what are the change in the life expectancy across this different time, what is, has been the evolution, and if we want further details, of course, we have to look in the data, and in the data we will fill, find this information. Here we have summarized this with another evolution to compare, showing the difference, right? And also, was, if we have different countries, we can include another variable. So in tables, remember, it was, we want to repeat and to have particular uh, charts for, 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 for different dimensions. Okay. So what we can do use is also use tiny light charts, which are called the sparkle lines. This is an example of how they are used. So once we have a column, what we want is to convert each one for each one in a graph. Here, for instance, what you have is the values that we have across different years. So what we have to do is to choose all these columns representing these values and later to incorporate as a graph within each part of the table. In these graphs, in these tables, what we can do is to incorporate images and images from different sources. So, for instance, we have indicated that the images were in some repository in the internet and we can upload directly into our chart and also to be rescaled later. Of course, we can have in our server, but we can also have outside to be loaded and included these images as if you remember the flags of the countries that we have seen a couple of slides before. In this, this is a one case about German elections results where we have the logos of the different political parties and later we have a small line of evolution, the difference, uh, what the representatives selected, right, and later the acronyms or, or, or the, Euro, the European party or the crown of the European party in which it, it's included, right. 
These charts are, can be also be optimized depending for the screens that we are using. As we said at the beginning, this is fully responsive and very useful when you are one that your information is not limited and is not cut because you are using one source of the, or the other. So with this, that's all we wanted to see about the different options that you have with Data Wrapper. Remember, you have charts, tables, and also you have maps. In some other videos, we will use, we will see how to deal the information, how to upload the information, and to see some cases in which we are working directly with Data Wrapper.